my gosh, you guys, I always get so happy from Colin Craig. He does amazing things with these boxes. Hello, friends, and welcome to another magical unboxing. Today, I've got one of my favorite Harry Potter boxes for you guys. It is called Colin Craig. It is a bi-monthly chest, and this time we've got the chest of the Half-Blood Prince, which is, of course, inspired by book six. This time we had the option to choose between the regular chest and the premium chest. And of course your girl went for the premium chest, which includes four additional items. I'm so excited. Before we start the unboxing, I just want to give a quick announcement. I will be doing a 1K giveaway. I know that we're not at 1K subscribers yet, but we're getting close and I want this to be a giveaway for the people that have been following me for a while now, if that makes sense. So I don't want to do it after the 1K point. I want to choose a winner when we reach the 1K subscriber. So. This will be an international giveaway. There will be a mystery box curated by yours truly, and it will include bookish items, Harry Potter items, and a book of your choice. So I will give you guys a sneak peek on my Instagram, and then of course all the rules on how to enter. And don't worry, this will be an awesome box. I will include items from the curation of Magical Curiosity, which is Jerry Wallace's box, from Fairy Loots, from Geek Gear, from Once Upon a Book Club box probably. So yeah, it's gonna be an awesome mystery box, so be sure to enter. And if you like these kind of magical unboxings, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video. F me. Again, let's get unboxing. Okay, here we go guys. I've got the chest of the Havla Prince and let's take our first look together. Get some blue tissue paper. Ooh, okay, this box is packed. It's really heavy, by the way. So on top is the spoiler card. I'm just gonna put that aside. The first item is a pretty big one, and it has a card on there which says, Dearest Dumbledore, I do hope that this is still your favorite tipple. Merry Christmas, my old friend, Horace. Okay, so this is probably gonna be like the alcoholic drink that he has, the oak matured meat or something like that, um, I think. Okay, let's just open this. It is a bottle. Let's take a look. Madame Rosmerda's finest oak matured meat. The three broomsticks. We've got this beautiful bottle with a cork, a wax seal from the three broomsticks, and of course the beautiful label. And I love how the contents of this bottle looks. And this smells like an actual alcoholic beverage. I am very interested to see if this is something you can drink. Probably not, but this is gonna look so cool on my Harry Potter shelves. Really nice item. Next up is a t-shirt and this is a dark blue one, which is great because most of the times in these subscription boxes you get black t-shirts. And I can see some candles and a quote that says, after all, to the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. Elvis Percival Wilfrick Bryan Dumbledore, 1881-1997. That's such a sad t-shirt, but it's really pretty to do something like that. That is amazing. Let's take a closer look. So we have the hat of Elvis Dumbledore, of course the floating candles, to represent the Great Hall. We have his little spectacles and the Elder Wand at the bottom. Not sure yet if this is something that I will use to sleep in or to actually wear in daytime because it does look a little bit like pajama style because of the colors and the hats and the floating candles. But oh my gosh, this is such a great quote and oh, all the feels. Next up is an item in this green paper bag. It's a candle. I'm always happy with candles, but I know that some of you guys are getting tired of candles in subscription boxes, but I'm kind of a subscription box noob and I don't have that many candles, so I'm always happy with a good candle. Let's see what we've got. Lucky pumpkin juice, pumpkin spice scented, 100% soya wax candle with a hint of luck. And you've got 
three little pumpkins and a liquid look potion in front of them. I think this candle is supposed to represent the moment that Harry pretends to put liquid luck in Ron's drink just before he quit his match to give him a little bit more confidence. That is a very nice idea. And I love the orange color on this candle. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that's really pretty, you guys. You've got a golden pumpkin in the middle and some glitter. And it smells really nice. Next up is a, another little brown packet. Let's take up this string. Ooh, it is something from Weasley Wizard Weezes. Puking Pastels, the Skyving Snack Box Collection. And again, so much detail. There's a beautiful purple waxy with a W, an orange ribbon, and a beautiful label with the iconic colors from Weasley Wizard Weezes. The bottle does open, so I am very curious if this is actual candy or just something you can display. I think I can already answer that question because there are an additional three puking pastels in this little plastic bag. So I think she added these so you can eat these and just use this bottle for display purposes. That is so attentive and a really great thought. Oh my gosh, you guys, I always get so happy from Colin Craig. She does amazing things with these boxes. Oh, and there's just a lot of good items to come. I mean, I've seen a couple. Oh, I can see a pin and it is from Swiss and Flick. They make amazing pins and we've got the fake horcrux. So we've got the Slytherin locket with the note attached from Regulus Black. So R-A-B. Wow, is this like an entire pin? The detail on these pins are just gorgeous. And this is an entire pin. Ah, okay, so these pins are just attached by a little silver chain and you can choose to remove that and just display them as two separate pins. That's awesome. The next item in this box is something with Amartensia on there and it says chocolate raspberry flavored coffee. Oh my gosh, there's a subscription box with coffee in there. That's a great way to change it up a little bit because I am so used to getting tea in subscription boxes, but not coffee. And this is Amortensia coffee. So yeah, can't wait to try this. And we actually got a coffee grinder. So the next item comes in this green paper bag. Let's see what is inside. Oh, of course, this would be in here. Of course. This is the cup that Dumbledore uses to scoop up the drink of despair. Fun fact though, this is the movie replica because in the book, it says that he conjured up a crystal cup. They actually did a really good job of making the movie replica and I love the colors that they use. It looks very seashell-like and they made it look almost like a trinket dish so you can probably use this to put something in there or just use it as a display item. The next item we're gonna grab is a beautiful green envelope with a golden wax seal that has an S on there. Could this be the invitation to Slughorn's party? And it's personalized, it says Leanna Brooks. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Let's not ruin the wax seal. <clears throat> you guys, this is Definitely the invitation. Oh my. Leanna Brooks, in light of your promising achievements, I am extending you an invitation to join my select group of students known as the Slug Club. I would be delighted if you would join me for a bite of lunch in my carriage. This is a truly exclusive opportunity and I do hope to see you there. Sincerely, Professor H.E.F. Slughorn. And I love the little green envelope with the wax seal. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this like forever. This is awesome. And I love personalized items. Next up, we've got another paper brown back. Ooh. Oh, you guys. And this is, of course, to represent the love between Ron Billy's Weasley and Lavender Brown. This is such a creative item. I'm not entirely sure if you can use this as a coaster, maybe, or if it's just for display purposes. 
but either way very cool item next up we have the little sticker pouch and C includes these in every box we've got one from the Ministry of Magic Aura Division Felix Felices a Harry Potter sticker the real Horcrux Snape and this one I'm gonna go for another envelope oh these are the bonus items so I'm gonna save this for last okay then we're gonna go for this little paper brown bag do we have another pin we have another pin it is Peruvian instant darkness powder look instant darkness powder we're importing it from Peru handy if you want to make a quick escape and that is, of course, from Fred and George Weasley, and they sell it at Weasley's Wizard Reese's. That's a very pretty pin. Next up are these magnetic bookmarks, and I always love getting these because somehow I don't have enough bookmarks. I honestly don't know how that happened, but I don't have enough. So yeah, we've got three. So there's a front and a back. And I have to be honest, I don't really recognize these characters. I can see that one of them is wearing the locket. So maybe family from Salazar Slytherin or Tom Riddle. I, I don't know. Help me out here, guys. If you know who these characters are, uh, leave a comment down below. The next item comes in this uh, little pink pouch. What could this be? Oh, that is so cute. This is a little potion, an Amortensia potion, and I think this is another bookmark. Look at that, guys. Yeah, as I just said, I need bookmarks. So again, happy with this item. And the amount of detail in this box, I mean, come on, to put this in a little pink pouch is just so magical and so much fun to unbox. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but there appears to be a pin banner at the bottom of this box and it is a house related item because I've got wisdom with a beautiful eagle in the middle of my blue pin banner. That is really cool. And beneath the pin banner is a purple envelope which says Miss Hermione Granger the Borough, Audrey Saint Catchpole Devon Confidential. And on the other side it says Ministry of Magic. Let's take a look. Oh, these are her owl results. We can see that Hermione Jean Granger has achieved one exceeds expectations and all the others are outstanding. So she did a really good job. And there's another wax seal from the Ministry of Magic and it's signed by Griselda Marchbanks, governor of the Wizarding Examination Authority. I love a good paper replica and there's just so much detail and it comes with a purple confidential envelope. Yeah awesome that leaves us with the envelope that holds a bonus item i believe i'm not really sure why but let's see so it says as an apology for the delay and to spread a little happiness in these dark times i have included these extra two items in the chest themed after the half blood prince himself enjoy so we've got two snape postcards oh wow okay so here we have snape in his younger years this is a really beautiful postcard and this is the postcard with the quotes you dare use my own spells against me potter it was i who invented them and it leaves us with the sporter sheet so let's take a quick look i'm really curious to see if the mead is something you can drink okay well first of all it represents the poisoned mead so no and second of all it is liquid soap that's Brilliant! Oh my gosh! And we got a total of 15 items in this premium chest. And let's see if we can find out who the characters from the magnetic bookmarks are. It's Tom Riddle Sr., Marope, and Marvolo Gaunt. That's very original. Okay guys, it's time to choose our favorite item. That's always so hard when you get an amazing box with a lot of items, but I am gonna try to give you guys at least a top three favorite items of this box this is really hard but i'm gonna go for the following three items the puking pastels because it looks great and it's edible the personalized item which is the invitation from horace slughorn and the poisoned oak meat which is liquid soap i mean brilliant but honestly i loved everything in this box i mean this box has everything pins replicas a t-shirt a candle 
paper replicas. It's amazing, I absolutely loved it, and it felt so magical to unbox this. And the next cauldron crate will be the Deathly Chest, which is of course inspired by book seven, and that will arrive in August. And that was it guys, don't forget to enter my international giveaway, all the rules will be over on my Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and let's stay in touch.